the an obvious question is how far uh, should we expect this project progression to continue? Okay, so now you know. I guess I will go back and steal the graph from that crazy person, Ray Kurzweil, because you know it turns out that he was more right than almost any of us. Uh, and you know he would just make these plots all the time of you know here's Moore's law, here's the number of calculations you can do per second per thousand dollars, and then here is some crude estimate of the number of uh, computational steps. Uh, uh, you know that that uh, uh, that. that that, that, that at least that, that, that uh, he he guesses that are going on in the brains of different uh, organisms, okay, an insect, a mouse, uh, a human, you know, and based on this, he predicted that, uh, yeah, you know, Moore's law should just take us to human level AI sometime in the 2020s. Right. That was that was that that was his prediction, you know, uh, 25 years ago. And then it'll just continue beyond that into, you know, you know, the, you know, the full intelligence of all of humanity. You know, and, we, and of course, we were like, you know, what are you smoking? Right. You know, so, so certainly there was no theoretical principle that would have, you know, justified any prediction of that kind. And yet and yet here we are. OK. And, uh, you know, I I'm a firm believer that, you know, what it means uh, to to be a scientist is that when something happens, Happens, you update on it, right? You don't like invent uh, 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 fancy reasons why it doesn't really count, or it, you know. So you know, if we if we if we didn't predict, you know, uh, what was going to happen, the least we can do is sort of post predict, you know, is uh, is sort of update now that it has happened. Uh, so. Um, uh, you know, so 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 now, you know, it's possible that, you know, I mean, you know, there's a there's a saying that like every exponential in the physical world is really a sigmoid in disguise. Right. Nothing exponential continues forever because, it'll, you know, or even for very long because, it, it, it you know, it always bumps up against some constraint. Right. So so what is the constraint here? Well, so I mean, some people uh, worry, you know, we are running out of Internet. You know, uh, 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 there's, you know, maybe a couple of orders of magnitude more, you know, but, uh, 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 you know, once you start having to feed like all of YouTube and TikTok and so forth into the mall, you know, I worry that that will just make the AIs dumber rather than smarter. <laughs> OK, but, uh, 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 you know, it's 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 hard to get more text. Right. You know, and so so maybe we'll when we when we run out of training data, then then we just sort of reach a limit, or you know. But of course, we also have more compute. We've seen that, uh, but by just investing more and more compute, you can get better and better performance at you know various benchmarks, even with this exactly the same training data. Okay, so but you know that now you know compute is also not infinite. Right. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, we, we should expect at least a few more orders of magnitude. Then, you know, the, literally the cost of the electricity will become the limiting factor at some point, which is why Microsoft and Sam Altman, you know, have been uh, investing in nuclear power. Right. We, you know, they envision building their own power plants to power, you know, future uh, uh, AI models. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we should also expect algorithm, you know, further algorithmic advances. So, you know, in the past, you know, uh, uh, algorithmic ideas that people have had, like, you know, the transformer, which is just a particular architecture for neural nets that was discovered in 2017, and which is is used for basically all of these things now, right? They, you know, you can think of them as more or less the equivalent of like some number of years of Moore's law, right? Like each one, you know, seems to let you simu get the effect of a bigger model with a smaller model, right? And so that, you know, you can sort of trade off algorithmic advances for, you know, hardware advances, right? And uh, uh, so, you know, we should expect more of those. But, you know, uh, um, um, you know, where does this, where does this ultimately lead, right? Uh, so, you know, let me, you know, does it lead someplace like here, you know, where like GPT-8, I'll say, please prove the Riemann hypothesis. And it'll say, sure, I can help you with that. You know, here's, you know, I, I just generated a formally verified proof, which you can access at this URL. Let me, you know, and now let me now explain it to you in English, right? So it'll just do all of our research, right? You know, I mean, it's lucky for me that I have tenure, right? So, uh, you know, I guess, you know, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, but, but, you know, we'll, or, or, you know, in order to write a research paper, right, we'll just write the abstract, feed it into chat GPT, click, and it'll generate the whole rest of the paper for us. Okay. Uh, um, you know, I mean, I mean, uh, is that, is that where, where this is, where this is headed? Uh, you know, if, 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 
if if it is, I mean, you know, you you might even worry about something beyond that. So, uh, oh, I, I should say when I asked, you know, I told ChatGPT to do this, and then but it made sure to add, you know, just kidding. As of my last update, the Riemann hypothesis remains unsolved. Okay, but um, it 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 played along with me that far. Uh, so um, you know, of course, uh, uh, you know, we 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 uh, we all know there are many people who who worry that uh, a, 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 at so, some time after you know these models become able to just do any intellectual task uh, as well as or better than we can do it. Um, you know, we just sort of cede control to them, you know, they, and, and the future is determined by whatever they want. And if they want to get rid of us all, then, you know, then, then, then they do that. Okay. And it's been sort of amazing to just sociologically to watch what's happened over the last couple of years that, you know, I mean, I knew this community, you know, around Eliezer Yudkowsky, for example, who worry about these things since 2006 or so, you know, I knew them when they were, you know, this like extreme, uh, uh fringe movement, you know, uh, uh sort of like, after. Okay, and now this was like talked about in the in the in the White House press briefing, right? Uh, so you know, Chat GPT was sort of the event that changed that. Okay, that sort of put you know AI existential risk, you know, uh, as a thing on you know everyone or you know everyone's radar. You know, lots of people don't believe in it, but you know those people now sort of have to make their argument for for why not to worry about such things. Um, so, okay, but this isn't the only possibility that, you know, uh, uh, people who, who I respect, you know, uh, take seriously, right? I mean, it's like you can scour generations of science fiction at this point for, you know, all different stories, you know, or all different possible scenarios for how uh, 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 AI could go. And, and many of them actually are, I, I think, are very much on the table now. Uh, so uh, my friend uh, Boaz Barak, who is now also uh, on leave to work at OpenAI, uh, and I, um, some months ago, uh, we wrote a joint blog post where we tried to make a decision tree. We tried to classify the different uh, uh, five possible scenarios uh, of AI that just sort of just to sort of guide the discussion. So our first question was, will AI progress fizzle out? Like, will we just hit a wall pretty soon? Uh, so maybe we will. And, you know, even even in that scenario, right, there's probably a huge economic impact that hasn't been realized yet just from what is already possible. Right. But maybe, you know, it just, uh, you know, GPT-5 will just look like a somewhat more impressive GPT-4. And, you know, it'll always look like the same kind of thing. Uh, OK, but then if no, if it gets to that thing that could just prove the Riemann hypothesis in, in one second or solve the other great greatest unsolved problems of math and physics, then, you know, you have to ask, well, will civilization recognizably continue? <laughs> and uh, 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 so, you know, the uh, uh, Yudkowskians are the ones who would say, uh, well, no, no, it won't. That's, you know, it's kind of like as momentous a, an event as, you know, the, you know, either, you know, the evolution of, of hominids or maybe even just the evolution of, you know, the, the emergence of the first life on Earth. And uh, we should expect that, you know, if if we don't figure out how to align these things, they will destroy us all. That's the paperclip ellipse. They just have some weird goal, like maximize the number of paperclips or something like that. And they just, with superhuman intelligence, they pursue that, proceeding to turn all the matter in the solar system, including us, into, into more paperclips. Uh, you know, that's just, just an example. Or it, we could solve alignment and have some wonderful paradise where, you know, each of us gets, a, you know, our own uh, VR, uh, you know, private island or mansion or whatever, whatever, whatever we want. Uh, you know, now, of course, you know, there are also much more moderate scenarios where, you know, sort of civilization recognizably continues and that that too could be either good or bad. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, you know, if, if, uh, uh, you know, we, we still have, you know, you know, there are, there are big problems, but they're sort of commensurate with the problems of other technologies. We'll call that Futurama. Uh, if it really just, you know, leads to, uh, let's say, a police state or concentration of power by uh, 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 some, some elite that oppresses everyone else, uh, you know, we could call that the AI dystopia. Uh, so uh, now, as far as I can tell, the empirical questions of, you know, what, what will AI do? Will it achieve and surpass human performance at all tasks? Will it take over civilization from us? You know, these are just logically completely distinct 
from the philosophical question of whether the AI will truly think, whether there, there is anything that it is truly, let's say, whether it will be sentient, conscious, whether there will be anything that it's like to be the AI. You could answer yes to either of those questions and no to the other one. Right. Uh, and yet, to my lifelong chagrin, people are just constantly munging these questions together. Right. They're just constantly uh, um, uh, saying, well, well, AI will never be able to do these things because it doesn't really feel or it doesn't really, you know, and, and then and then once, you know, or, 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 or it's just simulating it, it doesn't really have that inside. And then, you know, once it does do that task, then they just shift to a different thing that it will never do. And then it does that thing and so forth. Subscribe to Theories of Everything to get notified of upcoming podcasts as there are new full-length podcasts every week on the topics of mathematics, physics, consciousness, free will, and AI.